Do you pre-wash your fabrics before you make a quilt? Let's talk about it. Welcome back to Pattern Pool TV. In today's video, we're going to be discussing pre-washing fabrics in anticipation for our new online course starting iValentine on the 15th of March. We're currently getting all our fabrics ready. That's right. Pre-washing and getting ready to cut. And so today, mum did something with a quilt that she had been putting off for 10 years. That's right. It's a very special quilt. It's my Peacock's Garden quilt. I made it in 2010, I think, and I did not pre-wash the fabrics. <laughs> I designed this quilt, Peacock's Garden, back in 2009. One of the reasons I didn't pre-wash the fabrics is that it was a sample for the quilt shows I used to attend to sell my patterns. So for the last 10 years, I have procrastinated about washing this quilt and it has sat in a quilt cupboard unused. Now I know it sounds a bit gross, but let me assure you it has never been used. For the sake of today's video and to test the age-old question on whether or not to pre-wash your fabrics, I decided to wash it for the first time ever. I really hope I don't ruin this quilt. So today you really played with fire putting one of your most beloved quilts in the wash. I did. I was really stressed and scared about it but um, so what I did was I got my quilt out and this quilt is actually made with the no sashing method. I used Hobbs double sided fusible cotton batting and as you can see there are a lot of contrasting colours in this quilt. Mm. So I went down to my local supermarket and I bought a mild detergent. There's all different mild detergents around. There's quilt wash detergents. Mm -hmm. I didn't have one close by, so I just grabbed this baby wash and I got myself some color catchers mm -hmm. and also this other product here just in case I had any disasters. Mm. And I put it all into the wash. So first of all, you put the color catchers in first. I was really worried. I put in five. It said you could do two. <laughs> you put in five. <laughs> I put in five. <laughs> <laughs> and then I put my quilt into the washing machine. And I thought it's a good idea to fill it up with water first. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I put in the detergent. And I put it on a gentle wash. Mm -hmm. So I kept peeking in all the time because I was really worried. So before you tell us the results, can you please just share with everyone why it's recommended to pre-wash your fabrics and when you would do it and when you shouldn't do it? Okay, so it's always recommended to pre-wash your fabrics because you're going to remove the sizing, any shrinkage, and you're going to prevent any color bleeding. What do you so mean by removing sizage? Well, sizage. <laughs> <laughs> sizing. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say that? I said sizing. Oh, okay. <laughs> so sizing, I know, it's like what is people just say sizing and you, it's like you're supposed to know. Yeah, I feel like I should have known, yeah, like I was pretending before, but what does it mean? Okay, I did a little, I don't really know myself, I did. <laughs> 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 I don't make the fabric, I just sew with it. Yeah. But, um, okay, so it's, um, it's like... It can either be like derived from natural sources, so like um, starch or from chemicals, and oh. it's what coats the fabric. Yeah, I think it makes it nice and stiff so that they can do their printing, and it mm. also gives it like a really nice smooth feel. feel. Gives the fabric body. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. So the, yeah, that's why you're pre-washing them. That's right. And so when wouldn't you pre-wash fabrics? If you had pre-cuts, so mm. it's not recommended to pre-wash pre-cuts. So if you've mm -hmm. got jelly rolls or layer cakes or charm squares, I mean, if you're going to wash them, well, the chances are they're going to fray and they're yeah. going to stretch out of shape and you'll have to cut them down to an even smaller size to use mm -hmm. them. I have heard from other quilters, though, that most of the time when you buy a pre pack of like jelly rolls or charm packs it's fine to not pre-wash because you're using all the same fabric so the shrinkage is going to be at the same rate and that's so you're right. going to be okay that's that's yeah, yeah. that's true so that's true. because some people do like to make their quilt top first they don't pre-wash anything and mm -hmm. then they just use color catchers put it in the washing machine wash it and i'll probably put it in the dryer on the clothesline mm -hmm. and they love that crinkly effect yes so yeah so that, that's why there are pros and cons mm -hmm. i would have to say though like if you are joining in with our new mystery quilt I 
Valentine or if you are making a quilt and you're using fabrics that come from all different fabric mm-hmm. companies and brands, yep. I would actually pre-wash them because mm-hmm. you don't know what the shrinkage is from brand to brand. Mm-hmm. Okay. But that's up to everybody, isn't it? It's yeah, a it's a personal choice. choice. Personal choice. So yeah. give us the results of what happened with your quilt that you hadn't washed in 10 years. I was so relieved. There was no colour run. Now, these fabrics were all motor fabrics. Mm -hmm. Um, The range was called Puzzle Pieces. It did come out like in 2010 or before. And I used a really good quality cream solid fabric. As I said, Hobbs double sided fusible cotton batting, and I had that beautiful backing fabric. Mm -hmm. And I measured my quilt. There was only about half an inch shrinkage. I found that the stippling and the quilting all kind of stands out a little bit more. And Mm -hmm. I'm really thrilled. I'm very, very relieved and thrilled. And there we have it. That's right. So there was a little bit of colour that showed up in the colour catchers. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to note also, I was really happy to hear that colour catchers are biodegradable. Is that the right word? They're actually made from like a papery, natural Mm. kind of source. And I've never used them before. And every time I see them, I'm like, oh, I hope they're not some (laughs) kind of horrible plasticky thing. It's just going to go into the landfill. Landfill. Yeah. Yeah. No, but it's like a natural kind of Mm. thingy thing. Oh, that's good. A natural kind of thingy thing. Things. Well, there right. you have it. Yeah. We're not sponsored by any of these natural kind of thingy things, by no, the way. We're not. So, just out of interest, we did a poll in our Facebook group. So, we've got about over 10K members in our Facebook group now. So, feel free to join if you're interested. Yeah. 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 And so, we did a poll and we had about 500, almost 500 quilters give their results. And so, I'll pop them on the screen. So, we had 15% say, Yes, I pre wash my fabrics. say no, I do not pre-wash my fabrics. And then another interesting one was 19% saying I've never pre-washed my fabrics and I've never had a problem. So mum, what is the verdict, would you say? I would say it's a personal choice, Mm -hmm. but if you are joining in with our iValentine course, Mm -hmm. we are using dark red and we've got Mm -hmm. dark greens and I do recommend pre-washing your fabrics. And I'm going to pre-wash all of the like the darker red ones. I'll wash those separately. Yep. I'll wash the applique pieces in lingerie bags so that they're not going to get too frayed and mm-hmm. distorted in the wa- in the washing machine. Mm-hmm. I'll just wash the background and the backing fabric. I'll wash all of those. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll wash those together because they're very similar colors. But really, you're not going to regret pre-washing your fabrics no. when you make this quilt. You aren't going to regret it. It's one of those things. Yeah, it will reduce a lot of stress. So the verdict is in, everyone. Pre-washing your fabrics is a personal choice. That's exactly right. But in anticipation for online course, it's coming up soon, 15th of March. And if you're interested in joining us making a mystery quilt, please do. It's going to be a lot of fun. And if you are joining in, start getting your supplies together. The requirements list is on the blog. All the videos are going to be free on YouTube for you to watch and enjoy. And then if you want to make the quilt, you just need to get the course notes. That's right. So thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye.